Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this fun uh, wave pattern in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and create a new document. So we'll go new file. For this, I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Resolution 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color. Background content set to transparent. And then we'll go ahead and click on create. Uh, to start off with, let's go ahead and create a, a guide. So I'm going to go to view guide, new guide layout. I'm going to go four columns by four rows and I'll just click on OK here. And then I'm going to use the pen tool. So I'm going to right click here, accessing the pen tool here. And then I'm just going to hit D on the keyboard just to get my default colors here. And then starting here on the side, I'm just going to click to create a point. And then we'll go to uh, this intersection here. We'll put one in the middle, one down here and then just one here. So we kind of have this kind of um, waveform here. And then um, currently it's set to fill, so I'm gonna go no fill, and then we'll go stroke is black. And then for stroke uh, width, I'm gonna go 40 pixels here. And then uh, the next step is I am going to access the curvature pen tool. So let's go right click. We're gonna go curvature pen tool here. If you just double click on one of these points, it will uh, convert it to a curve. So we'll do that here as well. So we get that kind of start of our wave here. Uh, so what we notice here is it's kind of cut off here and cut off here. So basically we need to duplicate this shape. So let's go ahead and get our move tool here and then uh, let's duplicate it. So we go command or control J and then I'm going to move it over here um, to this left side. So, uh, so let's use the free transform tool, Command or Control T, and then we need to move it over here. So in this X value here, I'm going to click between the pixel and the number, and then I'm gonna go minus, because I'm moving to the left, and we're gonna go 1200 pixels, which is just the size of our canvas, and we can see that it is added there. And then let's do that one more time. So I'm going to uh, duplicate this again, Command or Control J. We'll free transform tool, Command or Control T. And then this time we are going to move it to the right. So we'll just click in here. Uh, this time we'll go to a plus 1200 pixels. And then we'll accept that here and we can see that it's been added to that right side there. So we have a complete curve here. I'm going to uh, click on all three of these layers, shift click, and then I'm going to uh, just convert this to a smart object. So I'm going to go right click, convert to smart object, and so it will behave as a unit. So I'm just going to, I'm going to add it to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to duplicate this, command or control J, and then we will use that uh, free transform tool, command or control T. And then this time I'm just going to move this point here to the top. So we're going to go X will stay the same, Y will be zero. And then I'm going to move it to the bottom. So you would do uh, the same process. Um, I just want to show you a um, action that I've created. Um, this is part of my Photoshop actions for pattern design. And so um, if I want to quickly duplicate something to the bottom, I have this action down at 1200 pixels and it will um, quickly duplicate it when I'm creating patterns. And there's also uh, one for up, uh, down, right, and left in addition to some other actions here. So let's go ahead and define this as a pattern. So uh, to do that, you can go to edit, uh, define pattern. Um, another option is with your patterns panel here, you can hit this uh, plus icon um, and it will uh, bring up this uh, pattern box just to click OK. And we can see our newly created pattern here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here, command with the minus key. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of those uh, grids. So I'm going to go view guide, clear guides. And then we can also turn on the pattern preview. So let's go to view, pattern preview. And here we can see uh, the repeat of our pattern here. Uh, clicking on this middle layer, let's go ahead and flip it vertically. So I'm going to go to edit, transform, flip vertically. Um, you can select that here. I also have an action for that, which will you can just click it and it will automatically flip it here. And so uh, this creates another fun pattern here. So let's go ahead and save that by clicking on that plus icon. And then we can see our pattern here. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new document the size of digital scrapbook paper. So I'm going to go file new 
Um, this time I'm going to use the dimensions of 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, which is standard for digital scrapbook paper. You want to make sure your resolution is 300 pixels per inch, and then we'll go ahead and click on Create. Next, I'm just going to uh, select our one of our new patterns here. We can see our uh, wave pattern here. And then to change the colors, you can click on a solid color adjustment layer. Uh, let's just select white here, FFF, to give our background layer. We'll bring it to the bottom. Okay. And then if we want to change the color of our pattern, we'll add a, another color fill, solid color fill adjustment layer. Let's. Um, Pick a color, let's try blue, clicking on OK. And then I'm just going to right click and then select Create Clipping Mask, and that will clip it to our pattern layer so we can easily change out the color here. Uh, so maybe we try a different color uh, for our background, and then you can easily select a color for your um, pattern here. And then let's try uh, that other pattern that we selected. And then if you double click on this pattern, fill layer, and then we can scale it down. Maybe we go to 50% here. Uh, when this dialog box is open, you can always reposition it on your canvas. Um, if you want to get back to the original, just click on Snap to Origin. And then we can select OK here. And then if you want to export this as digital scrapbook paper, just go ahead and go to File, Export, Export As. And then under File Settings Format, I'm going to select JPEG. And then you can always uh, change your quality here. Uh, just note that the higher the quality, the larger the file size you'll get. And then just scrolling down, I like to make sure Embed Color Profile is selected. And then you can just click to export your uh, digital scrapbook paper. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this pattern in Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.